Hello guys, welcome back to Lead Logic. Today we'll be going to solving the build array where you can find the maximum exactly k comparisons question. This is a lead code hard. The number for this is 1420. So in this, uh, let me give you just about the question. So the question state that you are given three integers n, m, and k, and uh, what we have to do is that we have to construct an array ARR such that uh, the array has n positive integers and after uh, we have to also satisfy, uh, satisfy some conditions and we are given with an algorithm and uh, we should apply the algorithm to find out the search cost of the array and the search cost should always be equal to the k and uh, we have to find the number of uh, ways in which uh, some uh, all the arrays that can be built having search cost equal to k and the uh, integers in the range uh, 1 to m and the uh, uh, which has exactly n integers these are the some conditions it, uh, array has exactly n integers uh, arrays uh, values ranges between 1 to m and uh, after applying this algorithm it should always have the search cost equal to k now let's analyze the algorithm Initially, we are given the max value equal to minus 1, max index equal to minus 1, and search cost equal to 0. And we are iterating to the array, and whenever we have such an element, which is greater than all the elements of the left side, then we have to simply store it in the maximum value, and search cost will be incremented by 1. So, um, the we can divide the problem into sub-problems, like first of all we have to think that uh, we have to fill n slots so and uh, the second thing we have to keep in mind is that we need to ensure that the search cost is exactly k so uh, let us say we have to pick uh, one number to fill the slot so we have uh, three choices one two and three so suppose we pick one uh, if we pick one uh, the search cost will be incremented by 1 because initially the maximum value is minus 1 and 1 is definitely greater than minus 1 so search cost will be 1 so the next you have no other choice other than 1 because we were, you cannot pick a number greater than the first number uh, because it will uh, definitely increase the uh, search cost and uh, similarly if you had chosen initially 2 then you ha you had two choices 2 1 and 2 2 and uh, similarly for 3 also if you have picked 3 you cannot pick a number greater than 3 and uh, you are bounded in, uh, by two cases in that way search costs also bind you to not go above 3 and the range of m given is also bounding you to not go above 3 now uh, let's uh, come to uh, the code now here you can see the code initially what we have done is that we have uh, created a 3d dp array to store our dynamic programming table and this table will be used to count the number of ways to construct the array that satisfy the given conditions and uh, then we have the mod variable to simply um, use for taking the modulus uh, and uh, we will fill the first slot with one because uh, there will be only uh, one way to fill it so what we will do we will fill uh, the entire array one by one uh, and trying to create all the possible uh, arrays which can be created and uh, if uh, the search cost will be less than k it will be added so first of all we iterate over all the slots of the array that is n times and for each slot we iterate over the cost which represent the current cost and uh, we should not go beyond uh, i plus 1 cost and we are also bounded by the k cost so we have to the cost we have to keep between 0 to uh, i minus 1 and k whichever is minimum and then uh, inside these loop we iterate o uh, over the max that uh, uh, the maximum value which we can put in the slot 
and we calculate the number of ways to construct an array up to the slot 1, slot i uh, with cost a as is search cost and max as its value, maximum value and this can be done using maximum uh, dynamic programming uh, like you can see here if cost is not 0 you can uh, simply define long array to be dp of i minus 1 and cost minus 1 and then uh, you can check the previous maximum and uh, sum it and uh, finally this was i was talking about this in which you can uh, we can sum the possibilities for the last slot with exactly k search cost considering the different maximum values max and this gives us the total number of ways to construct array that satisfy a condition we return this result ensuring uh, it's an integer so you have to ensure that this is an integer now let's try to uh, submit the code you can see it runs fine now you can see it is running fine now talking about the time complexity so initially we are initializing the dp may take constant time because it depends on the initial value n m n k and the triple nested loops iterate through each slot in dp with a maximum of n iterations for the outer loop k iteration k iteration for the middle loop and uh, m iteration for the innermost loop and uh, within the innermost loop the basic arithmetic operations are performed as some equivalent so it may take constant time so uh, if you talk about the overall time complexity of this question if this solution it will be O of n into k into m and uh, the space complexity may be uh, also n into k into m because we are using a dp that has dimensions n k m this leads to the um, complexity of n k m and other variables do not have significant impact because they are constant space so the time complexity of solution is n into k into n and the space complexity is also n into k into n so this was my solution for today's question uh, please do subscribe to my channel like the video and please uh, if you want some improvements please do write in the comment section and share the video as well thank you for watching the video have a nice day